Welcome to Red's Workshop! Hey there, guys, gals, and automobiles of the internet. How are you? Are you doing okay? I hope you're doing okay. It's a good day. It's a beautiful day. Go get some sunshine or some shit. Uh, let's take a look at this figure. We got the ultimate April O'Neil from the uh, original live-action Ninja Turtles. Uh, got a very cool looking box on there with the static -y TV screens like when Shredder's watching her. Uh, got nice artwork on the side. A little blurb on the back. Go ahead and pause that if you like. More art on the side. And then, pyow, pop it open, and we get more art. Yay. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and get her out of her plastic prison. All right, so first things first, let's go through those accessories. She comes with uh, her bag, which is really fucking cool. I really like the pattern that they have printed on there. Honestly, I might use this for some customs. This is just a, this is a really cool looking bag. Um, oh, calm down. Calm down, sir. Calm down, sir. Thank you. Uh, then, I, it's kind of sad to say it, but the main reason that I bought this was for this microphone so that I could give it to uh, my pumpkin wrapper from the Lightning Collection. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the rest is all just to go with the Ninja Turtles figures that I already had. It was like, okay, well. And uh, I like all these little microwave pizzas comes with. Give those to a, a Spider-Man figure or something. It's pizza time. Uh, then she comes with Raphael's sigh that she finds in the movie. And ain't it the sweetest thing ever? NECA included a little figure stand there. So that's really cool. Then there is a pointing finger hand. There we go. And then there's a fist on the right hand that has a little ring on it. Just barely make that out. Uh, then there are gripping hands. And she just kind of has some generic waving hands on, naturally. And I, I really like the Judith Hogue likeness. Uh, I didn't think that it was too great on the package. But I think that looking at the actual figure, yeah, it looks like her. And I saw on the box there's a tiny little note that says uh, special thanks to Judith Hogue. So I thought that was really cool. Um, honestly, Judith Hogue, super underrated actress from the 90s. She was in Ninja Turtles. She was the mom in Halloween Town. Like, she was out, she was out there killing it. And I can see why they gave a figure stand because these legs are... Not made for walking. <laughs> they are, um, they're, they're tough to pose. I'll say that much. Holy. Like, the legs themselves are hard to pose, and then there are heels on the feet. Like, very sharp stiletto-type heels. Look at that! Didn't even need the stand. Woo! All right, one second. Okay. So she's got a, uh, we're going to pull that off quick. Yeah, she's got a barbell at the neck. Surprisingly nice joint up there. Uh, so she does She does have a full rotation, and the hair is soft enough that it will move out of the way. A uh, little bit of side-to-side -side action. Yes, she does. Uh, then she's got 90, and not quite 90 at the shoulder. And then, please focus, thank you. Uh, then full rotation. Double joint at the elbow, which is awesome. Like, goes way up. Uh, swish and flick at the wrist. We love it. And then she's got a diaphragm joint there. It's got a little bit of rotation, a little bit of side to side, a little bit of forward backward, but it's mostly going to give you that full 360. Then, um, terribly sorry, Miss O'Neill, uh, but you can see under there uh, that... The tights go up, and she's got, like, she has articulation at the hips, but the skirt is going to prevent a lot of that. You got, eh, 
little bit of in and out, but not much else on top of that. But the legs, like the, the knees, double joint at the knee, and it's really well hidden. Really nice looking joint there. Uh, then just got uh, forward facing rocker, sorry, at the ankle and refuses to stay in focus. So I'm gonna get her posed up. All right, so there she is, the ultimate April O'Neil. Throwing some pizza boxes. Um, not a bad figure, you know. I um, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. It, it's fine. Worth the price I paid? Absolutely not, but it's fine. Um, I like the accessories that it came with quite a bit, and it is. Uh, I, I didn't have an April to stand on the shelf with my turtles. Now I do, so. You know, I, I don't care too much. Uh, I kind of want to get the April and Casey two-pack, or the Casey and Ralph two-pack, because I want to get a Casey Jones for the display. And then uh, my Walmart recently got in the Splinter two-pack, so I might have to get that as well, but we'll see. Um, sorry, I've got to hold this like this, otherwise the fucking ring light gets blinding. Uh, so, anyways, I'm going to roll out. Um... Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, invite your friends and family to join our family, because we are a family, not a cult. So hit the subscribe button so you can join our family. Uh, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.